The Portland Business Alliance has its own armed mercenary police force. It's called the Portland Patrol. The homeless are over-policed in Portland. To give an example, about half the arrests in a given year are all of homeless people. Considering the homeless make up such a small percentage of the population of Portland, this is a gross example of over-policing. Basically, homeless people are being systematically harassed by a combination of cops and this private mercenary force that works for a conglomeration of the downtown business interest to harass uh, and uh, just make homeless people's lives miserable in the name of uh, profit, sweet profit. It's disgusting, it's disturbing, it's a real problem here in Portland, Oregon, and I've been observing this happen for years. But without further ado, let's uh, have a peek. Mike Blue here reporting for FTP Portland. I saw this uh, patrol car here, and it looks like security for Voodoo Donuts is uh, got some guy detained here on the on the bench here. With Portland Patrol here, which is basically a private mercenary armor, army of uh, security guards that work for the Portland Business Alliance that have arresting powers. We have uh, Voodoo Donut Security detaining a guy, and pretty sure it's not going to work out too well for him. My fingers crossed for the guy. So uh, if this was uh, activist Sesame Street, tonight, t tonight's letter would be, uh, you know, F for fascism. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> How you doing? Just doing my Sesame Street letters, brother. What's that? I'm doing my Sesame Street letters. I mean, I like you. I'm just not a fan of you for I mean, we've already spoke. <laughs> just don't let me distract you. No, no, I'm good. All right, I'm cool. <laughs> I actually like this guy. Most of the Portland Patrol folks are ex-cops that still like want to work um, in a law enforcement capacity, and they're basically a private mercenary army army that's owned by the uh, paid by the Portland uh, Business Alliance conglomeration of all the local businesses in the downtown area. They spend 98 percent of their time dealing with either homeless folks or drunk douchebags. I mean, that's right. <laughs> people that are drunk or fighting, or uh, the, the bulk of their time is really spent uh, tormenting homeless people, actually, you know. And I don't know if a lot of them, you know, knew that before they got into the job, but that's just the nuts and bolts of it, you know. The camera is your protection because they don't want to screw up while you're filming them. Uh, they don't want to lose their paycheck, just the same as anybody, so uh, don't ever stop. Just, you know, stay calm and keep filming. Now is the time in the video when I ask you to dig deep and throw me some crypto love. If you have Bitcoin and you think I should have some of your Bitcoin, scan this QR code and let's make it happen. You can also find a link, or just a copy-paste, of my coin address wallet beneath the video. Because I'm out there in the streets filming the cops so you don't have to. So let's team up and kick the police state square in the balls. Thanks for watching, guys.